South Africa has two nuclear reactors that generate 5% of the country's electricity, not nearly enough to meet its growing energy demand. ESCOM, which operates the Kuburg nuclear plant in the Western Cape, also generates 95% of the country's electricity through coal. But the utility is struggling to meet demand and may only be in a better position in about three to five years. As part of its long-term strategy, the government is pushing ahead with plans for more nuclear power stations. Intergovernmental agreements have been signed with several countries that are interested in building the nuclear plants. The next step, of course, is an open, transparent and competitive procurement process, as required by the Constitution, as required by the Public Finance Management Act. Bidding is expected to start in the next few weeks. There will be a number of bids on the table. Uh, bids that are specific to South Africa's needs, uh, bids that will detail not only the technical requirements, the timelines, uh, uh, but also the financing arrangements. South Africa wants to reduce its dependence on coal-fired power stations. The government's Integrated Electricity Resources Plan calls for a generation mix by 2030, which should see a reduction of coal to 48% and include 13.4% nuclear, 11% gas, with the rest from renewables. We need to move away from coal from the point of view of the uh, uh, emissions, carbon emissions. Um, I think the, the, the discussion around the pros and cons of coal, I think are well documented by the environmental and other departments. Nuclear uh, technology is clean technology because it does not have any carbon em emissions. South Africa will choose a preferred bidder by the end of this year. The construction of the nuclear power stations is expected to span over 10 to 15 years and will create thousands of jobs. At the peak of the construction, we're looking at over 125,000 artisans. Um, and these are, these are skills that have been identified in various disciplines. Then the second phase of it is the nuclear power plant itself will employ people to, to run it. But South Africa will have to pay the price for nuclear. It's estimated that a nuclear build program will cost around $100 billion. That's the size of South Africa's national budget. It's not clear at this stage where the funding will come from for these plans. It all depends on the question of affordability and how this is going to be funded. And is South Africa ready to put a major part of its energy future in the hands of foreign vendor countries? While there are concerns that South Africa will dig itself deeper into economic trouble, some experts believe that going nuclear presents a solid business case and that the money spent will not be an expense, but an investment that could realize solid returns. Smitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.